Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. It's Sean from Sean K Beauty and this is Sean K's Beauty Bar where we grab from the bar and discuss all things beauty. Hi, hello everyone. If you're new to my channel, a warm welcome to you. My name is Sean. My background is biochemistry and microbiology. And I bring my scientific background to your questions where applicable. We also do makeup tutorials and discuss everything beauty related. So let's get right into this video because it is a good one. And this is the truth behind rose water and rose oil and things that you didn't know that you need to know. All right, so I'm gonna take a deep dive into this just because um, people are drinking this, they're spraying it on and all this stuff, but do you really know what it's doing internally? We throw a lot of terminology around, right? Oxidative stresses, oxidation, free radicals, you know, antioxidants, but do you really know what that is? And for me personally as a biochemist, I don't want my community to not be well versed on terminologies or anything pertaining to ingredients in products. So just think of me as your best friend next door who has this knowledge and I want to share it with you. So let's get right into this video because I really want to because I really want to give you guys what's valuable here with knowing what you're getting when you're purchasing your rose water or your rose oil. <laughs> so before we get started this question is coming from linda smith hey girl she asked me about uh rose water and rose oil so i figured i should bring it to everyone here on this platform because we are all pretty much using it and who's not using it is pretty much interested in what it's all about and there is a movement there is a lot of people using rose water drinking rose water you can get this as low as five dollars it can go even as high as the hundreds of dollars but what is it really and what is it doing when i drink this what is it doing when i put this on my skin and that's what we're getting into and i'm bringing my biochemistry to this because you know, if you're ingesting something, you need to know what it's doing with the chemical processes in the body. And if you're spraying it on, you actually need to know what are the chemical processes happening on the face. So <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to go a little bit deeper into the science behind this product. And you know what? God gave us these plants, right? He said that I give you every green herb for food. So that means that there's power in the plants. But what are those key ingredients in the plants that's actually giving us that power? <laughs> Let's get into this. Okay, so how do we make this beautiful potion that everybody's using? You know, Cleopatra, and this is a picture that I found of her, attributed her beauty to, um, to rose water. And, you know, everybody's using it. It's... it's it's pretty notable, right? This is one rose oil, rose water. They're pretty notable. You hear about them all the time. But the way they're made, Linda, is that they take rose petals and they actually distill them in water. And you get two components. You get the water-loving components that end up making the rose water or rose hydrosol. And then you get the oil-loving components, which actually makes up the rose oil. Now, can you get rose water from rose oil, seeing that you got it from the petals? The answer is yes. However, there is a process that you have to go through to get that oil to really become a solution with that water so that you end up with rose water, if that makes sense. So let's move on into, can I just go into my store or grab it out of my garden and bring it inside and make my own rose water? <laughs> All right, so here's the key thing behind this. We need to know what is on those petals because, you know, the the flowers that we find in a Whole Foods or a Trader Joe's, they're all aesthetics, right? They're, they're, they're pretty much grown to be aesthetically pleasing to the eye, bringing them in the home. The same thing that's happening outside when you're growing your roses in your garden. 
but there are pesticides and there is contamination and making rose water and possibly drinking it or using it topically can be an irritant, especially when you don't know if these petals are contaminated and you're not doing any studies on them to see if they are free from any of those variables, right? So that's the first thing. So of course you can do what you want, but as a scientist now in beauty, I would say stay away from making your own rose water um, just because the body will have to go through a ton of chemical processes to detoxify any pesticides or any dangerous chemicals from happening and wreaking havoc in the body. Now, I ended up looking at this company. It's called Altia. And what they do is they use the Bulgarian rose. And about this rose, it is the most potent. It's giving you 100% pure organic rose oil as well as rose flower water. Now, what is great about this prolific flower is that they would pick these flowers before the sun shines so that the rose oil is not evaporated. And what I do love about this company is that they are sitting there conducting extensive laboratory testing before they start making the rose flower water and the rose oil. So, I will leave a link to that company down below um, if you guys want to know more about it. Now, their rose water, I think I've seen the price around $14.95. I have ordered this and I am looking forward to using this because this is 100% organic and this, the acceptable standard for rose water or uh, what should be considered rose water is between 0.025% and 1%. Now, rose water does vary in price, right? We've got the Mario Badescu that starts right as low as $5, and rose water can go very high. It can go above, I don't know, $100. But this one is $14.95, so it's pretty reasonable. Now, I want to go into the benefits, but I'm also going to bring you insight because we hear this a lot antioxidants, free radicals, oxidative stresses, oxidation. Do we really know what that is? And I really do want my subscribers to become very well versed on what is going on with the aging process, what is happening when we use this rose water and when we internalize this rose water. So let's get into this next. All right, everybody, welcome to chemistry class. So I'm gonna explain this in its simplest form, okay? So that you can explain this to anyone else. But again, I want my friends here on this channel, in my community, to be very well versed on ingredients, what's going on in the body. As a biochemist, that's what we study. We study chemical reactions and processes that happen within. So we're looking at free radicals. We hear this a ton. We need antioxidants to ward off free radicals, but free radicals are not a bad thing. And I'm gonna explain in its simpler terms what I really mean when I say that. So let's talk about what they are first. Free radicals naturally occur in the body, okay? And what they are are oxygen-containing molecules with an uneven number of electrons that you see on the far left of me that has the red circles. So it says unpaired electrons, so it's imbalance. That uneven number allows them to react easily with other molecules. And, and when they react or bind to other molecules, because they're looking to be stable, like you see on the far right, um, this is called oxidation. It can be beneficial, but free radicals also can be harmful. Now, where antioxidants like a rose water comes in that we wanna drink or we wanna use is that they donate an electron to this free radical, helping it to be stable without becoming unstable itself. Does that make sense? So the antioxidant can donate an electron to your free radical, make it stable, and then the antioxidant, even though it donated that electron, still stays stable within itself. So that's why it's best to have a balance of antioxidants to free radical ratio because free radicals actually help to ward off pathogens. They're very helpful when they're balanced, 
but because they're so reactive, they need to be stable by having that electron donated so that they can work at optimal performance to help you. When there are too many free radicals roaming about in the body, they wreak havoc on your normal cells. And that's where we get oxidative stress. And I'm gonna show you here in this next diagram where your normal cell is actually being compromised by that free radical. So this here, will cause your DNA, your proteins in your body, your lipids, it will damage them and cause a large number of diseases happening. So your diabetes, your high blood pressure, your heart disease, your cancer, um, neurodegenerative diseases, um, uh, all of this happens, even inflammatory stuff happens to the body because you have too many free radicals. Now, when you take or spray your rose water, it is actually getting rid of oxidative stress. It is also calming you. It's bringing about hydration. It is bringing about stability to the body and it's causing those chemical reactions to work the way that they need to with antioxidant to um, free radical ratio. Okay, beautiful friends, I hope I did not overwhelm you with those diagrams. I hopefully explained that in a way that it's really, really simple. But I'm gonna go into some other benefits as well. You know, we're looking at synthetic derivatives of vitamin A in our with retinoids and retinoic acid and all of this jazz. Um, I'm hearing a lot of women who are reaching out to me talk about the damage that it's doing to their skin. Now, vitamin A is in rose water and rose oil. It's not as abrasive as your synthetic derivatives of vitamin A, like your retinoids and retinoic acid is, okay? Um, so it's less abrasive. It does cause the cell turnover. And there is vitamin C in this as well. So it's actually brightening up any scars and bringing a glowy, to the skin. You can actually use this to bring pH balance to the skin. And you all know I'm a huge proponent of using a pH balance product because the microbiomes on the face actually love pH balance products. The one thing I did want to jump deep in was the antioxidant and free radical situations that is happening in rose water because I do want you all to understand why you're doing something, right? And so consciously now you'll go in looking for the purest form of rose water, but understanding why you're doing something with having that understanding on the back end really solidifies your buying experience, right? Um, now I wanna talk about what you do need to stay away from if you're wanting to really get that younger looking skin, because when we have too many free radicals, we do age quicker and we actually find our hair going gray or it's bald, okay? It, that's where you end up with hair loss. So people spray rose water into their hair, it controls dandruff, but it also brings hydration and it lends to healthy hair. It's rich in flavonoids. Flavonoids, if you don't know, is in plants. It protects plants. And it is high in biological activity, which means that for us, when we drink or eat anything with flavonoids, it's actually an anti-inflammatory. It's an anti-allergic. It's also um, an antioxidant as well. And I just mentioned what antioxidants are. So now you guys are super well-versed on that as well. So a lot of properties comes with rose water, hydration, brightness to the skin, a soothing to the mind, a soothing to the body, reducing that oxidative stress that lends to all of these different diseases and bringing that balance to the free radicals so that there is no oxidative stress. Also, one of the things we need to pay attention to in our lifestyle, because we can increase free radicals with the things that we're doing. Pollution, pesticides, is which is a reason why I don't want you 
grabbing flowers out of a food store or out of your garden because there is pollution and there's pesticides within the scope of just that. Um, smoking, when you smoke cigarettes, you're actually increasing. You know, sometimes we would look at someone who smokes a lot and they would age. I have an uncle that smokes a ton and he aged so fast. It was crazy. And that's because of the oxidative stress that ends up happening because you're causing a lot more free radicals to enter the body and they're very reactive. So be conscious of all of that. Not trying to throw anybody under the bus. What I'm saying is it's by wisdom that kings rule and nobles declare right things. And it's with a lack of wisdom that the people perish. And I want everybody on my community to be well-versed. You all know I don't just say I love you because it's a game. For me, I absolutely love you and I very much value my subscribers, very much. That's why I make my time available to answer your questions with ingredients that you're not sure of when you're going to use products. As consumers today, we have to be very well-versed on what we're using, what we're ingesting, and what we're taking because everything is being marketed to us as the next best thing. And the things that are being marketed to us is not necessarily the next best thing. So I will leave the link for Altia below. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I am not even a, um, what do you call it? I'm not sponsored by them at all either. It's just that I was happy to find this, con this company um, and to know more about the Bulgarian flour and the process that they go through to get it. They actually, because this is such a prolific flower, they pick this right before the sun shines so that there is no evaporation of the rose oil. And what's so great about it is they do testing in a lab to make sure that these petals are free from pesticides and pollution before they actually start making their rose flower water and their rose oil. As a scientist, I appreciate that. And I actually have an appreciation for those who go the extra mile to make sure that we as consumers are safe. Anyway, I love you all so much. The discussion continues. Leave your questions down below if you'd like me to feature it next week on Sean K's Beauty Bar. Remember, I'm here to give you knowledge and hopefully that knowledge that I give is of value to you. See you guys in my next one and ciao for now. Mwah.